Hello, uh, I'm Ollie Epsom and today I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview of what I've been creating in my spare room recently, and uh, not the way you think. So, here we have a transformer, uh, two control boxes, a display for a Raspberry Pi. On the roof I have a two kilowatt photovoltaic system, which generates power, inverts it and feeds it into the grid. The system you see before you is designed and currently performing the task of um, utilising as much free energy from the electricity as possible to heat the water in the water tank here via the use of an immersion heater. What happens is I have a current clamp up in the attic which constantly measures the power produced by the, uh, by the photovoltaic cells. That comes down this wire and goes into this complicated control box here which amongst other things contains an amplifier which sends a voltage which is associated with that current into this Raspberry Pi box here via an A to D converter which is then translated in the Raspberry Pi as we can see possibly on this screen here into a timestamp, a wattage recorded and a crude text based bar chart. So scrolling back through here we can see the bars getting longer and shorter as the power has gone up and down during the day. This system operates autonomously. So much for measuring. It also provides functionality here via this switch which is flicked into the automatic position to control the immersion heater. It can do this in two modes. Mode 1 is 750 watts due to the fact that I've stepped down a 3 kilowatt immersion heater via a 110 volt transformer and mode 2 is approximately 300 watts when it feeds the same 110 volts through a diode giving me 55 volts so that gives me two a low and a high mode for the immersion heater which the computer program will flick through automatically um, in order to make the most use of the available power obviously a continuous power modulation would be desirable but for this first stab it's been a bit uh, too complicated uh, so there you have the first overview of the system, which has been running now for one day, faultlessly. Uh, stand by for further updates.